So the tall poppy syndrome is a metaphor, and what it means is you look at a poppy field and you see one poppy that's taller than the other. So there is a tendency in most countries to cut that poppy down so that all poppies are uniform size. So most societies are fairly egalitarian or um, want people to be fairly equal in stature. And America has never been like that. So it's prevalent worldwide. And when I first began to study it, I wondered why the syndrome was so known in America when it's been documented from antiquity to present and in most countries. Envy drives the tall poppy syndrome. So if you look at somebody has a better car than you have, uh, you become envious of that, perhaps. Now, the thing you need to know about envy, and most people don't appreciate it, envy was one of the original seven deadly sins. But with time, the envy is now divided into good envy and bad envy. So good envy would be if I saw the person with the nice car that I would decide if I wanted that and I here in America I would have my option to work longer hours work overtime work Saturdays or Sundays spend less and eventually emulate that person and become more like them which in the end I improve myself bad envy is usually comes from low self-esteem, lack of mobility, and instead of trying to improve myself because I feel I can't, I key the car or I stab the tires. So I try to destroy that person's happiness. That really is what drives bad envy. That's why you cut somebody down. What are some fields we see that happening the most, the top poppy syndrome, the negative side. Well, the big things in America, once again, it's cultural driven. And in America, we have, our tall poppies are so high profile because of, of the internet and social media and TV and Hollywood. So of course those tall trees are going to get the most wind. And who is that in America? It's going to be politicians, people from Hollywood, people in sports, and of course the entertainment um, media group of people. The tall poppy syndrome happens mostly within your tribe because it's people that you're familiar with. So people you work with, your neighborhood, the school system where your kids are. So it's your own envy and looking at people you know. So to be cut down, you don't have to be tall. And the metaphor is about the tall so that you understand the tall, but the really the tall poppy syndrome is just as I think it happened to me. Some people would say I wasn't that tall and that's most likely true. But in the end, I do meet the criteria of sort of being cut down. What do you suggest? What are the solution for this situation? Well, first of all, you have to you have to understand a little little bit about emotions. And America has been, and probably the world, really doesn't understand emotions. And and there was about 20 years ago emotional. Intelligence hit the business world. A man wrote about emotional intelligence and said that it wasn't all about IQ. It was about emotional intelligence as well. And we need more self-awareness. And the self-aware businessman is very, very important to being successful in his company, perhaps more to success than working hard.